Okay, welcome to Act 2 of my 40 ounces of adventure. Some guy drinks some booze and plays a really good adventure game, in this case. Right, so here we are, Act 2. We in the city. And there's a lot of cool stuff that we can soak in right here. But it is a walkthrough of the intoxicated variety. So we ain't interested in plot and stuff. Hell no, we interested in beating this game. For starters, we can waltz over here. And we can look at a few things. Man, there's shit everywhere. Wow. Basically, we want to get through this fence. And there's some damn soil here. How the fuck do we get through that shit? Well, I don't know exactly. I just don't know. Probably need to walk around some more, try to look for some key items or something. Hmm. Send us a sign, Lord. We need a sign from you. Hey, wait a minute. I know that voice. Are we guilty of arousing your rage? Did we do it? Speak with your tongue of fire, Lord. Purge us with the unrelenting justice. Send us a sign. Send me a sign. Is this Sorry, our Gamry doing? Song. Are you punishing us for our arrogance? Probably. That's usually what God does. He's a dick like that. Voice, Lord. Is your oh, God. Tripping ball. Oh, no. It's starting again. It's amazing. Everything's changing. Everything. And the church looks really nice. Very nice looking church. Everything is mutating. And I haven't even moved. Yeah, I said that, dude. I don't understand. I don't it's okay, dude. Calm down. You're fine. Actually, you're probably not. You're tripping balls, but you're still fine. So now we got some glass. Which is always good to have. And there's a sculpture over here. we the guilty ones? With a Satan being dropped into hell. The catastrophe caused a lot of damage to the statue's pedestal. The fact that the statue is still standing is a miracle. Yeah. The thunderous voice. Oh, yeah. There's a plank with a message over here. Perhaps we should grab it. Hmm. We got some nails and a plank now. How interesting. No, we do. Damn. We use physics, motherfuckers. That Put the piece of wood sign. on that little thing there, and Let's the statue see. goes boom. If I wedge one of the ends of the plank under the statue's pedestal, the other part will rest directly on the base of the toppled column. Yeah, yeah, physics. We're waiting, Lord. Did we do it? Illuminate us. Send us a sign with your just and vengeful arm. God is this dang. our fault? God always a dick about shit, isn't he? So judgmental. Listen! It's the fiery breath of God. The Lord has sent us his sign. The eyeball there, that's and creepy. I was right. It is all our fault. We did it, and we have aroused his fury. God gonna be a dick like that? What the hell's going on here? Look, that's the sign. Mm -mm -mm. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Repent all ye sinners. He died. Dude's dude meth head crashing now. Mm mm. Well, look at that. Next to this enormous hunk of glass, the colored glass shards I picked up earlier look ridiculous. I'd better get rid of them. Yay, we got a thick old jagged piece of glass. Yay, what we're gonna do with it? Well, we're gonna walk over here. And we're gonna walk over here. And Holy shit, you know what you use with this thick old piece of glass? There's some damp soil here. We use it as a shovel. A glass shovel. That sounds a bit hoity-toity, actually, now that I think about I'll it. I'll do this very carefully, so that the glass doesn't break in two. I mean, a bit interesting when using glass as a shovel, but I suppose we're just an ingenious motherfucker in the apocalypse. Perfect. The hole I've dug is big enough to get to the other side of the fence. Fuck yeah! And that's all we need to do. Now get to the other okay. side of the fence. Okay, here we go. Under the gate into Suicide Park. Oh yeah, this place is called Suicide Park. A bunch of people kill themselves here. Sorry, I'm not playing the game for the plot. I'm playing the game for the walkthrough. Good God. There are dozens, hundreds of corpses hanging from the branches. It's pretty fucked up. What could have drawn all these people here? What kind of pain? What kind of desperation brought them Fucking here? apocalypse, man. These are the corpses of ordinary people. Who were living their ordinary lives. In their ordinary little worlds, 
up to a very short time ago. Yeah. Could any of them have imagined meeting an end like this back then? Forgotten and nameless. Swaying in the breeze like marionettes. That's all we are, man. Dust in the wind. Uniforms did was close the park. They didn't even bother to cut their bodies down from the trees. Assholes. Fucking assholes. I'm afraid that tonight there are too many dark stars to count in Suicide Park. Damn. That's like that that's a song there. The two men and stars to count to Suicide Park. We pick on the crowbar. One of the best items in the game. We got a crowbar. And there's a rope. We need the rope too. Yay, rope and crowbar. Oh, the crowbar is one of the most awesome items. Oh shit. We're tripping balls. <gasps> Wait a minute. That guy is... Oh, damn. The suicide victim who was hanging from this tree. Damn. Oh. No. Don't do it. Please. But No. Pull the thing Thank out. God. I saw him hang himself. But, but he could pull the stake out, dude. We could have prevented it. Oh, hey, guys. I'm over here. Back by Rod's trailer. After this fool didn't do anything to save that poor man from hanging himself, we can do one thing. And that's take a crowbar and use it on this car. Okay, door. let's see if I can open this. Hell yeah, you can open it. I believe in you, Michael. Do it. You're not even touching the door. It's amazing the powers you have. Got it. Yeah. And there's a driver's seat. Let's see. I'm sure that if I tug on it a little. Good. The upholstery came off along with one of the elastic bands that was holding it to the seat. Sweet. We got a rubber. And we got this. We got all kinds of good stuff. And I see this poor old man right here. He is a sweet Nice old man who's trying to get into this house because you see these shadows over here. These are two guards. They assholes. And they're going to kill anybody or send any poor soul to the camp after dark. So we got we got to make sure this old man has somewhere nice to stay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the seat cover. We're going to use it on the basement window right here. This quilted fabric fits the size of the window. It perfectly. does, doesn't it? It's amazing. Like. We just can't go bashing a window because these guards, these fucking pigs, go run over here and shoot our ass. Help me, please. Help I'm me. I'm going to help you, dude. Don't let them find me in the street after curfew. They'll take me to the refugee camp. Help me, please. Oh. Help me, please. So sad. Okay. Give me those bolt cutters. I'll see what I can do. This house is empty, but the army has sealed it off. Asshole. If I can just get this padlock off before curfew, I'll be safe. I need to get in here, but please don't make too much noise. If the soldiers find us, they won't hesitate to kill us. All right. Those bolt cutters ain't going to work. I'm from the future, and all I know it ain't going to work. They do, though. Here you go. Have a bolt cutter. Impossible. Man. I'm sorry. I can't do anything with this. I need to get in there. I need to get in. All right. Wow, that was very exciting. And we're going to help him get in. We feel for you, old man. We feel for you. You relax. We're going to bust this window with a crowbar, and you're going to get in, okay? It's all going to be perfect. Okay. Let's try this. Yeah. And let's cross our fingers that the seat cover absorbs the noise of the breaking glass. If the soldiers next door find me, they'll blow my head off without bothering to ask questions. Dicks. Ah. <sighs> You've done it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm saved. Yeah, we a hero. God bless you, stranger. You saved my life. Take care of yourself, old man. And I don't have to tell you, don't open the door to strangers. Yeah. Yay, now we got a crowbar. Not a crowbar, bolt cutters. We use a crowbar to get bolt cutters. That's what I meant. And you know what we can do? We could use the bolt cutters on this wall of tree and bushes. It's fabulous, this device. Let's see what's on the other side of this hedge. Um, no doubt a nice new area for us to explore. And holy shit, there is. Oh god, we tripping balls again. Please! These visions! Uh, my head! You won't get any of his things. I won't allow it. To Interesting thing about these cutscenes, if you pay attention, god, you? it pretty much tells you what's gonna happen in the future. Because we psychic now, too. Don't you recognize me? 
But there is a solution, Michael. All is not lost. There is still a possibility of salvation for us. Yeah, yeah. For salvation. Each and every one of us. Allegory, religion, and shit. This, Michael. You have to quit. I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, good master. It does do that to people. It's killing us. It's a demon inside me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> These visions are getting more intense all the time. The pain is unbearable. Who's Chris? Perhaps we need that morphine for ourselves, really. Still possible, he said. Could that be true? And once again, that female voice has been haunting me since I woke up. Who is she? Why was she so distressed? What the hell happened to us? <gasps> what is going to happen to us? I don't know, man. Shit game real. All right. So we can walk over here now. A little bit off the screen. Uh-oh. Fences electrify. Look at that. They're dead bird there. That shit too real for us. We cannot get any further. All right. So we at a point where we're like, fuck. We fucked up. Fucking electrical fence. What do we do? What do we do? Well, what we can do, we can go over here and talk to crazy dude. Mr. Christian religious fanatic guy. Or oh, like Jesus want to kill oh, us hello. all. I heard your sermon and... Yeah. God has shown us his sign. He has finally spoken to all of us. Yeah, that's you. With his really. thunderous voice, he has revealed the unknown. We did it. It's all our fault. Again, got an asshole. We did it. Yeah, we did but it. There's still time. All thing. is not lost. There's still time to avoid it. To do what? The head of the lion above the flame holds the key. Really? To that's like a hint. <gasps> there is a hint. I think it's best enough. Yes. There, we're, we're, going, we're going to go ahead and Jedi here because we know we now know we need to fuck with the old crazy reverend dude. Why, you ask? Because it's an adventure game and it told us that we need to fuck with him by signposting some shit. See that, that rope we got here? We use it on this burnt trio. Yay, we got a rope on that tree. And now we can access this little cesspool over here and grab I these stones. It's a chart for them. Okay. Before I go down, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on the tree. You can go down into the cesspool. Maybe that's where they give the water to the refugees or some shit. That fucked up. They probably Underneath would. Underneath the surface, there must be many. No doubt that. Hmm. Right. We clicked on this. We got some rocks. A small piece of sculpted marble. It's the head of an animal above what looks like flames or an open fire. Could it be a lion's head? Ooh, it's a lion's head. Hmm. Wasn't well, Reverend Crazy Pants talking about, like, lions and shit? Is that, like, all biblical? Cause So we show it to him. Hey, Reverend, we got that picture of a lion. The head of the lion above the flames. I think this must be yours. Yeah. Here you go, crazy old dude. The head of the lion. The head of the lion We've above been over the this. Flames. You're just repeating yourself now. There's still time. I have to return to the ruins of the temple. I have to go back to the ruins of the temple. Wait a minute. Whew. There's no question in my mind. This you know, says the man who tripped balls randomly. Whatever. We got a cross-shaped stick now. Now what the fuck do you do? What do you do now? You're confused. You're disoriented. You have no idea what to do. Why? I'll show you. All right, we're here with the children. And they're a guard over here. He a dick. We hate him. <gasps> and we tripping balls again. We already oh, tripped no. ball here once before. Here comes that sensation again. It's like floating in a dense liquid. He's repeating wow, himself. Everything around me is transformed. Good God. I think I'm starting to lose my mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, you keep saying that. Makes it all the more true. So you see this little cross-shaped stick? We use it with the elastic so, band. Let's see. I just made a primitive homemade slingshot. And you see, dude's a bad shot. We can't just have him use these pile of rocks to hit the guard over here. No, we get to the children and basically make the children be like hitmen for us. Hello, Michael. Hi, kids. We got mom out of the house. Now what about that reward? Here, slingshot. Please go murder that guard for me. Yes. It's a slingshot. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. With this, we'll I don't know if there's any other way to do it. Come on, but this is the way I did it. That'll do it. 
teach you pigs. Yeah, fuck the pigs. Ooh, these boys. Murderers. Attention, all units in Sector 12. Report immediately to the North Watchtower. I repeat, report immediately to the North Watchtower. What's going on? I don't know. It must be something serious. Come on, let's go. Oh, dear. You hit him! Haha, <laughs> yes! So what do we do now? I don't know. We've got to get out of here. Quickly! Run! Yeah! Better take this with me. Let's take the evidence. Yeah, yeah, those kids killed for us. They murdered a guard. And since the guards have been dealt with, all we need to do now is walk over here to the saddlebag and grab some stuff out of it. Right, oh, these gloves. Let's grab pretty quickly. Yeah, we got gloves now. We need gloves so we can get through the electrical okay. fence. I'll wear the gloves to cut the electrified wire. Yeah, yeah. Hercules know what he's doing. Smart dude. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. And now, Let's see what's down here. Now we can explore. Clearly there's something. It's a trap door. Underneath it looks us. like it hasn't been Clearly. used in a long, long time. Yep. Let's go use it. Hey, we entered a new area. How exciting. Oh, shit. There's some acid. Let's go grab that really quick. Oh, fuck. Look at this. There's some fucked up shit going on down here. I, I, ooh, it does not seem pleasant. This is like where all the dissolved and shit ends up. Pretty fucking intense, isn't it, folks? <sighs> well, let's use the crowbar and the ventilation gate okay. and get out of here. Let's see if I can open this. Shit too real for us. It's <clears throat> fucked up down here. Unsettling. Perfect. It looks like this hole leads to a passageway on the other side. It does. How convenient. We can escape. Well, not really escape. Just get further into the complex. Now over here, there's a metal closet. We should probably mess around a with it. A tiny lock is preventing me from opening the door. And despite its size, it seems to be very strong. Hmm. Should we try the crowbar on it? I'm not going to open it this way. I don't see any cracks in the door big enough to get any leverage. No, we can't. Hey, but there's a black bag here. Let's grab it. Black bag there by the janitor's cart. Very important item. Hmm. What can we do? Oh shit, glass case. What's in here? This glass cabinet has dozens of medications stored inside. Classified by type. Antibiotics, anti-inflammatory drugs, diuretics, and, hmm, painkillers. Well shit, let's go get some painkillers then. I'd rather use a key to open this case, but I'm a bit short on time, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Who is it? Who's there? Oh, we fucked. Oh, uh, excuse Narc. me, I... What are you doing here? Have you come to steal something? Take one more step and I'll call the soldiers. No, wait, please, don't do that. Security, this is Nurse Uma Grundy. I need you to come right away. No, wait! Wait a minute. Did you say Uma? Nurse Uma? Yeah. Yes, that's my name. Wait, please don't turn me in. I know your father. I saved his life just a few hours ago. They were going to deport him to the refugee yeah, camp. Yeah, believe me. I was able to stop it. My God, did you say my father? Tell me, how is he? Has anything happened we to him? We don't know his name, just... Don't worry, Uma. He's safe. Father? He told me about you and your work in this place. He was worried. He'll want to know that you're all right. Wait, please don't turn me in. This is Nurse Uma Grundy. It turned out to be a false alarm. You don't have to come. Thank Damn, you. Damn, she gullible. Thank you, Uma. But you yes, said right father. Thing. My name is Michael. But now you should explain why you burst in here like that. What are you looking for, Michael? I came to get medicine. Very convincing voice actor, dissolved. right? Cure? There's no such thing. You won't find it here or anywhere else. The authorities distributed a memo among the medical staff months ago. I'm sure you can still find a copy of it around here somewhere. It told us that they've definitely abandoned the search for Oh, medicine. no! You made a mistake risking your life to get in here. Damn. The only thing we store here is pain. This place is a tomb for those poor infected devils, but also for the people who work here. Damn. I'm sorry, Michael. The dissolved. You speak are with so much feeling, Uma. No, 
That can't be. There has to be a solution. A cure. No. Oh, man. Looks like there's not. Poor Rod. Poor Colin. All right, man. I should be going now. Talk to my father, Michael. Tell him that I'm all right, that he shouldn't worry, that we'll be seeing each other soon. Very soon. Damn, Uma going through some shit, although the voice actress is not really doing a good job conveying that. But either way, there's some shit we can pillage here in front Let's of see. Uma. Inside, I only see dust and old papers and a tiny key. Yay! So we got a tiny key now. And we can use this tiny tiny key on this metal closet. Let's see if it's the key to this closet. It is. It absolutely is. Bingo. Beautiful. Hey, look at that. There's some wooden crate. I got some shit in there. Hey, GPS. Hospital badge. Paperwork. Damn, that was just a wealth of shit there. It's an internal army memo for the hospital's medical staff. Uh -oh. The report talks about the failure to develop a cure for the dissolved. Oh dear. And what's even worse, the decision to finally abandon the search for war. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Rob is going to be so disappointed in us. He's like, find me a cure. And we found him information that said there ain't going to be no damn cure. He going to trip balls. So we just kind of waltz back to the camp. Do, 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 do. The camp is closed, rat. Get away from the gate. What? But I have to come in. It's urgent. What happened? There's no understanding, you worms. Always wanting to get out of here. Once you're outside, you're dying to get back in. One of our soldiers was killed. Oh, no. And the camp will remain closed until the matter is cleared up. I don't <gasps> think it's going to take very long to get the truth out of these kids. No, the, the kids. They they're going to be, oh, mind. man, fucking pigs. Good God. The man's going to murder what these children. I, I knew I shouldn't have gotten them mixed up in this. You're nothing but a gang of warped psychopathic pigs. Damn, Michael. One more word and I'll blow your head off right now, bastard. I couldn't care less what privileges that bracelet might give you. Get out of my sight. Those pigs are going to kill the boys. And it'll be my Michael, fault. Michael, you just... I'll be responsible for the deaths. You need to deaths. chill out, dude. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, and fast. But what? I'm trying to, like, provoke people with guns. Michael, you crazy. I know how to solve this little puzzle of ours. What we need to do is we need to go over here. And oh shit, there's a dark puddle. Jesus. It's the corpse of Reverend Blake. Mm -mm. His neck is broken. In his delirium, he must not have seen the rope I left tied around the tree. It must have fallen from the top when he was trying to get down here. But what the hell was he looking for here? He crazy. He crazy. But you know what we need to do? We need to take the slingshot and we need to put it in with the Reverend. First, I'll take everything out of his pocket. Good idea. I could use Reverend Blake as a scapegoat to protect those exactly. children. Exactly! Uh, on the other hand, him being one of the most famous and respected men in the city, I doubt anyone would believe my story if I accused him of attacking the sentry in the tower. Damn it. If I don't prevent it, those bastards in uniform are going to execute the boys. Yeah. For God's sake, I have to think of some way to save them. We're, we're okay there, Michael. Chill out. Jesus, Michael. We're going to use a shard of glass on his face. This is going to be hard. Very hard. Mm -hmm. Pretty gory cutscene, folks. And in all this. His eyes are open for this shit. The savages are about to kill them in cold blood. I have no other choice. God damn it! Had the visions again! Not now. I have to do this. I've got to do this. Oh, my Michael acting God, crazy. I can't stand it anymore. This has to end. I can't help it. It's that demon. You know I can't help it. Please, Michael. Please. Yes. A tiny cowardly demon. I remember. Digging its claws into your soul like a jagged piece of glass. Whispering in your ear that what you're doing is right. Damn, Michael, you fucked because up. Nobody has the authority to tell you otherwise. Michael got some problems. And we're gonna pour acid on this man too. I remember it. I remember. I can smell it. Feel it. Touch it. No, please. Don't do it. No! That cowardly demon. That dark and intimate specter that only you know. That gains strength in this new world. Oh, dear. That brutal sensation of acid running through your veins. Corroding. Little by little. Anything good and decent you might have left inside you. Turning it into pain. Rot. And emptiness. Good God, what have I done? 
What have I done? Why are you showing me this? Please, answer me. Who was I before the catastrophe? Before the world collapsed? Do I really want to know? Yeah, no, I, probably not. You're I'm crazy, afraid. man. I'm afraid of myself. Sound right, damn, you're covered in blood and shit now. At least wash that shirt. Well, that's one way to solve a puzzle. Or something. It worked. Now we can tell the pigs about it. Hmm. We'll check out your story and see if it holds up. It will. We're approaching what looks like a body. It looks like that worm was right. Over. Ugh, what a mess. What the hell happened to his face? Meh. Who cares? We found the guilty party with the murder weapon. Let those kids go. And unlock the camp gate. Over. You can come in now, rat. Damn, that was easy. Oh, hey, um... My friend... I'm, I'm sorry, Rod. But you gotta see this. You got to. You gotta see these documents. It gonna, it gonna break your heart, though. Michael, thank God you've come back. Colin is worse. His trances are getting longer and deeper. Oh, dear. My wife and I are afraid the end is near. Yeah. Please tell me that you've brought the medicine to cure his disease. This is going to be very hard. But this man deserves to know the truth. Yeah. I owe him that. I'm sorry, Rod. You have to see he this. He ain't gonna like it. He ain't gonna like it. He ain't gonna like it. It's him. an army report. It says that the cure we were talking about doesn't exist. That it never existed. Yeah. No. But there has to be a cure. There has to be hope for us. Try to understand. There's no cure for the dissolved. The dissolved? I warned you, Michael. I warned you not to use that word in this house. Get out of here. Get out of our lives forever. Wait, Rod. I'm sorry, but you promised to help me. You promised to help me get my identity back. Help you? You've ruined our lives. You've condemned our little boy to death. Get out of here. Get out of here at once. Michael, Michael, I have a message from her. It's very important. Damn you. Don't go near that door. Get out of this Rob house. Rob is being a dick now. Listen, Michael, we have a gun in that room with two bullets in it. Don't make me waste one of them on you. It's all right, Rod. Calm down. I'm leaving. Rod did. And as for you, vultures, drawn by the scent of death, I won't let you take anything. You hear me? Not a single thing. When this is over, when he's gone, I'll make sure there's nothing left for you. You won't get anything. You won't get anything. Well, shit got real, real quick, folks. Shit got real, real quick. Hey, lady, here's some morphine. I brought the morphine for your husband, just as I promised. This woman in this house give me the chills. Let's get this over with as soon as possible. Yeah, get that wild cat. So you've come for your money. Is that it, you rat? My husband is about to die. Without him, we'll be nobodies. Me and the kids. The soldiers don't even show us any respect anymore. A while ago, they broke in here to take them away with no explanation. And it didn't matter to them in the least whose children they were. But if you stay here, all that could change. I still have some contacts. I could arrange for you to become the new Camp Mole. I don't think that would be a good idea. It would be better for me to leave. Take good care of those boys. They're good kids. Yeah, get out of here, you disgusting rat. You're all alike. In this camp, all you rats are alike. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. You're just waiting to see us fall. But I won't give you the satisfaction, you disgusting rats. I'll do what I have to do. But you won't see me crawling around in the trash like you. A cornered scorpion. Very, very passionate. By Everyone speaking with passion in. from the heart. I think it would be best not to speak to this woman ever again. She could be dangerous. Damn, Michael, just keep burning bridges. Just keep burning bridges. That's what Michael does, though. He burns everybody's bridges. All right. So now what do we do, folks? Now let's look at our shit. We got cash. We got nails. We got all kinds of things. So let's go over here. And, oh, shit. There's a lady. We can talk to her. Let's talk to her. Hello, Mr. Sleepyhead. Excuse me? 
What did you call me? Yeah, You're we offended. Mr. Sleepyhead. Oh, blank. I saw you sleeping in Colin's trailer. I'm so glad you're awake now. I have to go. Goodbye, Mr. Sleepyhead. Bye, Rose. Poor girl. She's obviously mentally ill. She's just a little girl in a grown-up's body. And you, if you want to go in there with her, you got to pay like everybody else. Well, good. We got a fat wad of cash to give these guys. Because, yeah, Rose is a prostitute. Kind of fucked up, huh? Well, welcome to Dystopia. I brought money. Let me see Rose. All right, we can go in now. Hello, Mr. Sleepyhead. You came back. Hello, Rose. I have something of yours from before the Great Wave. It's the key for you to lock and unlock your chest of dreams, you sleepy bear. Okay. But I won't give it to you unless I can hold my baby. Oh, baby, I've got to do here. Key to my chest of dreams. I don't know what the devil she's talking about. We'll find out. But if it's don't you worry, my for the Great Wave. No doubt it could help me recover my past. All right. So, we gotta get Rose a baby. That is a very interesting proposition to say you need these. Good thing we got shit in Europe, you can grab. Oh, so, we got a hand drill and some wire with burnt out lights. So, this girl right here, this poor girl Rose, has been. Well, I think it's obvious what's been going on with her. Yep, yeah, pretty fucked up, huh? Pretty fucked. And I don't think it's been years since humanity has fallen or since the Great Wave. I think it's only been a matter of months. But either way, door is locked up. But there's an electrical wire up here that we can fuck around with. Fortunately, we picked up this hand drill from Rose's little rape shack. And okay. now we're going to do this. So we'll make a hole in one of these drums. I think I can now get rid of this old hand drill. I doubt I'll be using it again. I mean, this dude just disposes of things in the apocalypse. I I won't need a hand drill ever again. I couldn't even conceive of it. <laughs> With its contents spilled all over the ground, the punctured drill. Why would anyone ever need a drill anymore? again? Oh, it's funny. Guy okay, jumped the gun there, but now we can use the whole thing. Ian. This is the only way I can think of to draw those thugs out of their den. Yep. Yay! What the hell is going on now? Oh, hi. A nice bloody shirt. What happened, Hank? Hey, Mike. Nothing in particular. It's nice to see you around here, dude. Some idiotic camp electrician wanted to practice on our place. That's all. So, tell me, what brings you to these parts? I'd like to speak with you. Of course, Mike. Come on in and have a seat. Right. All right, why did we want to come in here? Why the fuck do we need to come in here and talk to the creepy ass hunter dude? Why According you see this GPS here? Brigade's forums, this is the device they use to navigate during their raids, sort of like an electronic map. It looks like some satellites are actually still working after the Great Wave. Something I could easily confirm if this contraption had batteries in it. So we need to get batteries, and the hunter can probably get us batteries. So let's go talk to the hunter. Hey, Hank. The last time I was here, you told me that you could get anything. I need some batteries. So what is it you want in exchange? The only liquid assets still worth anything in this new world, Mike. Fuel. Bring me gasoline, oil, kerosene. Anything that can make a motor or generator run, dude. Yeah, and we also need to get Rose a fucking crib and a baby. So right here is some fucking tape. We should pick this damn tape up. I love how no one gives a shit. We just taking stuff right from them. So here we are, right outside that area we entered it. And holy shit, if, look at this. As the hunter says, fuel is the currency of the new world. There's a real fortune stored here. I'm not surprised that the army has this place hidden and camouflaged. So here lies a shitload of fuel. Well, now we have some information to give to the hunter. Hey, hunter dude. See this little badge right here? Authorized vehicle pass. It's the ID that allows the cleanup brigades to get in and out of the hospital compound and their macabre ambulances. From what I can tell, the army can pump you full of lead if you try to come through the gate without one of these. Oh, yeah. So, we go to the hunter. Hey, hunter dude. Here you go. Here's you a badge. Go get yeah. in there and steal some fuel. 
What if I told you I know where you can get more fuel than you've ever dreamed of? Now, if what you're saying is true, you're going to make one weary old bear very happy. Oh, he's a bear. But if you're mm. lying, I'll find you some, wherever with you all these try demons. to hide. And I'll maul you with my paws right on the spot. Oh, dear. So you'll give me the batteries in exchange for the ID? Deal. The ID is now mine. Here are the batteries you asked for. Well, that's just great. Now we have batteries to use in okay. our GPS. Okay, let's see if this device still works. <laughs> it works, but Fantastic. what do we have here? It's a list with hundreds of names, places, and addresses, and a map of the city. All right. Hey, Mike, wait. Before you go. Oh, well, what do you guys say? I've been thinking about it, and now it's my turn to propose a deal to you. I see. All that talk about the medical center, the fuel, and the ID got me curious. I need to get the lay of the land, bring us enough information about that depot for us to make a plan. I'm talking diagrams, coordinates, maps, or better yet, a photo. Whoa. Bring back what I'm asking for, and I'll give you whatever you want in return. What is it you need, dude? Do you know the trailer where Rod Atkinson and his wife live? Yes, of course. I know Rod, that hypocritical busybody. He still thinks that with his old world morality, he can save everyone in the camp. He's a real pain in the ass, dude. They have a young son, Colin. I can't tell you why, but I need to be alone with the kid, just for a few minutes. You have to make a commotion outside to keep Rod and his wife distracted long enough. Keep them busy for a few minutes. Find any excuse, but I need time alone with that boy. You never cease to amaze me, Mike. Uh -oh. I don't know what you've got in mind, but it's none of my business. Bring me the information I asked you for. Bring me that photo of the fuel depot of the hospital. And I promise you'll have all the time you need to do whatever it is you want to do with that boy. Oh. And my complete discretion, of course. I don't know Thinking what idea thoughts. is percolating in the hunter's sick mind right now. Well, but I have to play along to avoid having to explain anything. Oh my I God. gotta make sure he doesn't find out about the boy's illness. Deal. But nobody gets hurt, okay? Bring me that photograph of the fuel depot at the hospital, and we'll do whatever's strictly necessary. Ooh. Well, Hunter think we like a pedophile or something. All right. So now we use the old business card with the GPS. Okay. Let's enter the address shown on the card from Beechwood Oracle, 24 Mametswood Street. The map shows me a place near downtown. Let's go have a look. Yeah. And now we move on to Act 3, Oracles and Ashes. It's like a band name, like a metal band. 